Welcome back to Dream Golf Channel and today we're going to go ahead and start using Chad's tool which is basically the LiDAR OSM integration tool that pulls all your data in and, um, and um, writes it to the course file for TGC 2019. Before we get into it I'd like everybody uh, I'd like to thank everybody for um, subscribing if you have and watching our channel and if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button in the bottom right corner would really appreciate that so we can bring you content every week or whenever we can maybe sooner than that if we can get more subscribers out there uh, we can get more content out to you so to start off uh, one thing that we didn't mention on the last course design video was how to establish a a course file uh, from TGC 2019. We do that by going into TGC and we go over all the way to the right and we create a new course. Click on that button. Now once we're in the file you can go ahead and set your course name. So for this one, it's uh, we're going to set it as Houston National. And then we're going to set our theme. And this is, there are just a bunch that you can choose from. Um, just it all depends on whether you want a, you know, a countryside setting or let's say a coastal setting, autumn setting, that's real nice. Uh, you know, change in uh, the leaves, uh, rustic. So for us, I think we're gonna pick, um, let's see here, I think we're gonna pick uh, Boreal. So. And then we go and we go into all the features and we reduce them all down to zero because we don't want any trees, we don't want any predefined holes, predefined um, fairway widths, etc. And then we save it to the TGC course directory. And then once it's saved, you need to go into your file explorer and then search out the directory where that got saved. And then once you find that, you can rename it to what you want. And then you can copy and paste that into another folder, into the folder, I should say, where you're going to be saving all your LiDAR data or where you have saved all your LiDAR data and OSM data. Uh, so it's all in one file so it can all be compiled all from the same directory. So when it's all done, you can copy that file back out and put it back into where uh, it originally had been so TGC can find it when it opens up. Okay, now we're going to look for uh, Chad's tool. You do that by typing in Chad's tool, TGC 2019, and then here it is. You can go directly in here through GitHub, or you can go into his website. When you're in here, this gives you a tutorial of basically everything that we have been going through. It's good, but it does lack some things. But anyway, we'll go into GitHub to download the program. And here we 
are and here is the program right here you want to download this and then when you you get it you want to put it into your course course designer file that you have on your desktop these directories are important because that's how the tool searches to find all your different data your lidar data your osm data and it also determines where your course data from tgc is located so it knows to use that file so once you got everything identified all your directories and you have your osm files and your metadata files and your lidar files and your course file all in your directory you can go ahead and start pulling in all the data before you can start generating your height map what you need to do is you need to establish an EPSG projection. It's very important that um, sometimes you get lucky and you're able to not need it. But I know in my, for the ones that I need to do in Houston, I need to use this 6344. And it wasn't easy to get this. You, I had to actually get it through all the, the forms uh, that are on. Um, on different websites to be able to get it okay now that we have all our files in the right directory and we've downloaded Chad's tools now we can get started okay guys now that we're in Chad's tool we're gonna go ahead and uh, get set up when you load the golf tools uh, in when you load it up you should be able to get into this screen I don't really mess with these at all. I guess if you had to offset anything, you could. But the first thing I go to is I process LiDAR. I drop my EPSG projection, which is 6344 for what I'm doing. Uh, you also need to select your course directory, and that's important too. So for us, we're going to do Houston National. Good. I think it's actually loading up what's in the what's in the course file right now so we'll wait for that okay I, I previously had been working on this so um, so it's identified the course directory then we're going to go in here and process the lidar this goes into the folder this is the folder where it's going to grab your LiDAR data and your OSM data. And then it goes. Okay, now that it's been all compiled, we move on to the next part. Uh, screen will pop up and I'll show two maps. And for this, we have to outline the area. One, you have to compare the two areas and then uh, make sure that they're matching. Uh, otherwise your EPSG is incorrect and you have to go and find find something else to, to help match it up but once you once you confirm that it's the same um, area then you go ahead and highlight it and go ahead and process everything now this will take some time just depending on how much data you have but you just gotta let it run and then once it's all finished it will generate a mask file Okay, so now we've got the we've got the uh, height map uh, generated, and we have the mask file generated. And the height map has all of your height data. That's your elevation data. And then the mask will allow us to identify what we want to include and what we don't want to include. And we do this by shading the areas that we don't want in red and leaving the areas that we want alone. And we'll move to that next. With this mask file, you should be able to identify um, areas that
do not need to be imported and this is very um, this is very important because it can reduce the amount of unnecessary data that can be um, pulled into the course file and so it's not that you want to go crazy with it but you want to make sure that you you only select data that you know that you need and so there's a lot of neighborhood data extraneous data that you can just identify and get rid of all right now we're in MS paint and we're going to uh, select outline and fill to be red and we're going to outline all our areas that we do not want the data to be imported or or uh, minimize or reduce or eliminate the data so we don't have too much data imported into the course file and we just mask out or you know read out all the areas that we don't need which is basically everything outside of the course and some neighborhoods inside the course it just depends okay now that we've updated our mask now we're going to import our height map and our OSM data and we're going to put it into our course file we're going to select some options here to make sure that uh, we don't we capture and reduce the amount of work as we can so we're going to select select the uh, the tool to start pulling all the data in as you can see it's starting to work it does take a little bit of time to take all that data and, and start pulling it in but these options uh, you want to make sure you click because it's going to help reduce a lot of your work later on uh, just uh, making sure that you take uh, some of the like the craters out where you've gone and masked off um, your your areas that you didn't want to um, have any data pulled in it's important that you go ahead and click some of these boxes and okay we're all finished now we're going to just check and make sure we got all our holes we got five holes generated and then we're going to all right that looks great so now we're going to go ahead and export the course you got to make sure you export it or else it will not show up uh, it will not be updated it's one of those steps that I think all of us have probably done before or gone through all the steps and forgotten to save so just make sure you export give it time to save and then you can go ahead and open it up in TGC okay now we're in TGC and we are going to go over to unpublished courses and uh, this is where all your course files will be uh, reposited after you've generated them then they'll become unpublished courses until you publish them. So we go ahead and get Houston National, load that up. And here we go, the course is loading up. The image is starting to form. There's our five holes that we had just imported into our course file. And look at all those big craters. That's where all you, the areas that, you, that we masked off with red and we got to get those fixed up but uh, this is the course uh, looks pretty good uh, no water generated but you can tell where the water is that brown area that tan area that's where the water is uh, here's our driving range here and here's our first hole and we can tilt the axis here and again these are those craters uh, it's a lot of work I wish there was a way we could avoid that I think there is but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the first hole oh boy this looks really good I mean this is the first hole at Houston National cart path looks great let's uh let's go ahead and take a look on the on the flyover why it looks great it really does we just we just got to get it cleaned up and it should look great after we get it all cleaned up and we're going to go ahead and exit this. The next video, we're going to go ahead and start editing this course file. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe and like the video. See you next time.